YouTubers. Hi, it's your girl Melly. So, anyways, uh, today I'll just be talking about um, 11 reasons why you have to be serious in your church, like why you need to be a permanent member in your church. One thing that I've realized uh, whilst doing the church, okay, right, let me, I'm, I'm speaking too fast and also I'm saying so many things. But one thing that I have realized, anyways, by the way. <laughs> Um, I do I do um, pastor a church in one of the universities so I do I preach weekly yeah so twice a week I'm up, I preach in a, in a church so I thought let me take it to YouTube as well since I love preaching right um, so number one you need to be uh, serious in the church that you're in right now because number one you're part of the family who does not want to be part of a family so you want to have a family yeah. as it says in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 15 of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named so you can see that even on earth you need to have a family some of you don't have a family at all and you it's like you'll find that most guys um, who are like in the streets and everything the reason they, they most of the reasons why they hang up with those people in the streets and they always say oh, they're my family man they're my family so you can see that everyone is looking to be part of a family so if you start if you start going to a new church that you like remain that it takes time like for you to just go with the flow before you can start going with the flow and blending in it takes time you have to kind of learn to adapt and adjust yourself to the new change of environment and the people that are around you because i remember when i first started going to my church i used to be like oh my days these, these people are so loud and i'm like quiet and, you know I most of the time, majority of the time, 95% I'm okay. I'm like 60% I'm quiet and sometimes I can be loud. But the church was very loud and shouting and screaming. I still like the church, but I used to complain about all the shouting. And they used to speak with the African accent and I was trying to get rid of my accent. <laughs> so that didn't help. Oh my god. It didn't help. Number five is you will for you will flourish. And this is my favorite one. You will flourish if you are planted. Psalms 92 verse 13. Those that be planted in the house of God shall flourish in the courts of our God. So if you remain in the church that you're in, when you plant yourself, you'll flourish. People always do well where this where you choose to stay. You always end up doing well there. Do you know what I mean? That's why. If you, if you start working with a certain company and they have a, an opportunity for somebody to be a manager or to be a leader of something, they're always going to go for somebody that has been around for a long time, somebody that has, that loves being around, that loves being there, do you know what I mean? Rather than, you know, so before they do like an external advertisement of the job position, they'll usually do an internal advertisement. So this is why it's important that you remain in the house of God even if you don't see anything happening yet you just gotta pray and just hope that God is gonna move you or he's gonna move the church or whatever if you have an issue with the church the, the, no, the solution is not to run away or walk away how you do with all your boyfriends or girlfriends <laughs> changing girls and then church, you're, not, you're not created to be a church hopper you know you can choose to be a job hopper a hus a, 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 the scripture clearly says that they they that is they that uh, what is it they, they that plant themselves in the house of god they will flourish don't you want to flourish so plant yourself be rooted in that house and allow yourself to grow there'll always be things that you don't agree with like i remember one time billy graham says that i don't know i don't even think it was billy graham i don't know who said it but somebody said it and they were just like if you're looking oh yeah it was billy graham actually if you're looking for a perfect church as soon as you enter into that church that church ain't gonna be perfect anymore because you've entered into it <laughs> That's a good one. Anyways, and then they will have a family to celebrate their victories. So you'll have somebody to, to celebrate with. Romans 12, 13 says, rejoice with them that do rejoice. So I mean, when you give birth, your pastor will be there at the hospital waiting for you or your church family will be there when you're in the hospital something has happened to you or whatever even when you win people will be sharing your post on facebook or whatever do you know what i mean so they, you know victories is not victory unless you have people to celebrate the victory with you i remember i remember hearing this story. was basically saying that 
so there was these two teams one of them won one of them won um, won an award and but everybody wanted the other guy to win so when he won the award he didn't have anyone to celebrate with the guy who lost everyone was simply um, everyone was there comforting him and everything but him who has won no one came up to him to celebrate with him and then he was saying that it's better I didn't win because no one is acknowledging my achievement so the whole purpose of you achieving things is for people to celebrate and and see that wow look what you've done do you know what I mean and that's what the scripture says there is joy in heaven over one sinner that repents so there's joy the celebration in heaven heaven celebrates with you when you give your life to Jesus though you don't see the world celebrating with you when you choose to give your life to Jesus Christ believe me the father and Jesus they are boogieing it down in heaven <laughs> next one is point eight is uh, they will see the fruit of their labor. You will see the fruit of your labor. You constantly attending church every Sunday, every Thursday or Wednesday, whatever week they service your church has. You attending uh, rehearsals. You paying tithe, giving in offerings, you will see the fruits of your labor. Nothing that you will invest in that church will be hidden from you. Rather, you'll get everything. God will bless you. You will be blessed. Amen. Number nine is that they will avoid the deception of short relationships. You know, there's a big deception about everyone going into short relationships. They'll go here and they don't stay there for a long time. Do you know what I mean? So you avoid the deception of short relationships. It's very, it's a blessing to be able to remain in a relationship for a long time. People who tend to give up on relationships so quickly, you can tell that they're not strong. They're very weak. So if you're somebody that's, that you, you, your friendships last long, your relationships last long, it's a good sign. It means you're a loyal person. It means that you've gone through certain things with those people do you know what i mean for you to last so long in a relationship with somebody it takes it takes resilience you you have to be able to stay with that person for a long time oh wow thank god there's editing options in there <laughs> point 10 and then one more time one more they will have consistent pastoral care you'll have somebody to care for you man do you know what i mean and then 11 you will be rewarded for faithfulness as it says in Matthew 23, 20, 25, 23, well done, good and faithful servant, enter thou into the faith, into the joy of thy Lord. So, you will be rewarded for faithfulness. So, guys, I really hope, as much as I was talking so fast, I hope you were able to catch everything that I was saying. I mean, if you didn't catch anything, then I don't understand how you can listen to rap music if you can't listen to me. But regardless of all of that, I would like, I would encourage you to stay in your church. You know, Jesus says that offenses will always come. There's this thing that I was reading called about Christians and civil war. So you'll see that there's there's a lot, there's always civil wars with Christians. There's, you you know, in the church, you'll always be offended, you'll always be hurt, people won't say hi to you, people won't mind you, you might feel left out, etc. It's everywhere, it happens like that everywhere. Even if you go to another church, the same thing will happen. So there's no point with you to be hopping, 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 as if you might as well, you should have just been a frog. Do you know what I mean? You should have been that prince that turned into a frog in Princess and the Frog. <laughs> but anyways, guys, so I hope that you got something from this message. Try and stay in your church. There's a lot of benefits if you choose to be a permanent member of a church rather than hopping from one place to an, to an end. Like my pastor always says, don't be a church prostitute. It's not a good thing. You won't fall, flourish by going to different places. So anyways, I have a lot to say, but time will allow me. And also, I can only upload 11 minute videos. So that means, that means I can't really preach to you for like three hours like I usually do. <laughs> and when you can attend my services, Anyways, God bless you, God be with you. And this has been your YouTube pastor, Nelia Ange. Stay tuned for the next video. Love you guys. And stay rooted and grounded in the Lord Jesus Christ. Bye. My money not the long one. The anointing produce it. My faith now I'll get one That's why miracles responding I'm standing on top of my world I know say